time. I just didn't even know that two zaps could come that Damn quickly. It. Now we're going to bind. Sadly, you ain't going to get it 100% today, my friend. But mm -hmm. this was a more difficult one because Haven would make sense, say, if we saw BBL pick it because we saw FPX struggle on it yesterday. Maybe they've mm -hmm. got to tell on it. But maybe this is just comfort that's going to be coming out there for them. Or we're just completely surprised and FPX are the ones that picked it. Well, Haven is the most played map over on the BBL side as well. So I'm guessing this is going to be FPX's pick going okay. into Bind. That maybe they didn't want to play Haven just because of how comfortable their opponents are and possibly just presume that their opponents would pick it. Yeah. So when I look down towards a Bind, obviously we've seen FPX on it. They beat Team Liquid. It was 14 to 12, but it was with two very even halves. There was nothing really massively negative that I could take away from FBX in that game. Uh, the fact that their attack and defense was so evenly matched with one of the best teams in the world so early on in this lineup's history that I, I don't mind that at all. And they also beat Project SW, a pretty decent team going throughout oh, the qualifiers, 13-1. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. That was a slap. And that's the thing, right? It, although the results that BBL put up aren't great, we got to give them credit because they came through the qualifier in the first, first place. We can't forget that. But that's just right now the difference between some of these qualifier teams and some of the teams that are already sat there getting these big invites. I noticed that on the thing, actually, uh, on our predictions, Cryptics is getting a little bit of grief. <laughs> he, he just woke up too late to, to get his predictions in. So he's just a... A black bar. Oh, he's done it. <laughs> <laughs> he's going on the late schedule. He's like, you know what? I'll just take my time today. I just saw Cree tagging him going, uh, hello. <laughs> uh, hello. Literally, Cryptics. they're on Twitter. Saw it a bit late, says Cryptics. And then Eccles went, still, still asleep, asleep probably. <laughs> I love the banner. Good old Brits. Why not? But what we've got right now is the opening round. It's the pistol. Oh, Aslan, he does manage one. But he was heavily outnumbered in that. He went for an aggressive push on bathrooms. Oh. Oh, that's some key misses. See, Ned, that's not like you, actually. Very out in the open. Gets caught off of it. The site has been completely swarmed already. Easy for the spike to go down. There's been very little invested for FPX at this point. Rust is going to try and push in. Lands a couple of shots. Going to force him away, but he's got the information. Can he work off of it? Oh, the paranoia timing. Angel going to get it done. Teleports away. Puts himself into safety. The Shadow Orb's gone down as well in front of him. Shao right on the side. Gonna have to go and take this. Oh, they peek him at the same time. They nearly gifted it away. He was still able to get one kill, which is solid. But Zipan comes out, and you know that aim is deadly. He comes in with a second. It's headshots. It's easy. And that is a big win coming out on the pistol for FBX. 3K from Zipan was required, but they've got that early lead. And honestly, that's where I'd imagine BBL would pick up most of their rounds if they can win these pistols. The reality is when they played against NIP, two days ago they lost 13 to 3 it was a crazily one-sided game they picked up three rounds on the defensive side playing out the full thing and then couldn't get anything done on attack but they only got one buy round out of it so if they're struggling that much on the defense versus nip losing the defensive pistol is heartbreaking because those that little boost of rounds is exactly what they needed they've gone in for just some light pistols a little sprinkling of investment as the rest of the players, or everybody, wants to be able to buy up in the next round and at least do some damage. I will say again, like, it always surprises me when players don't, on an eco where they plan to buy in the next round, that they don't just buy all of their utility, or just on an eco in general. I would just buy up full util because you get to keep it, and then at least in the next round, uh, or if something comes of it, you might be thinking, God, if only I had two extra smokes. Not that anyone's playing Brim to have them. Now, I saw some players discussing yesterday on their social medias, Mitch, about headshots delivered with sheriffs. Well, Aslan may have got away with one, but that's all he's going to get for now. There seems to be a little bit of this battle on who's going to become the sheriff master, because we see it quite a hit and miss pistol at times, don't we? I think the problem for me with the sheriff is the range. I, it, it feels so difficult um, because you, you have to headshot and body shot at a certain range. You'll only do 145. But at the same time, I feel like that makes it a, a bit more balanced. It's not like you can just hold the massively long range angles with it and just tap everybody away. But if somebody can master it, become the spray down, I think it was, was it Zipan who was just spraying uh, sheriffs the other day? Mm -hmm. And it was like, it was almost like he had a spray control for it. <laughs> it was getting the second and third shots landing. 
Dude, at best, I've got two kill headshots with the, the sheriff in a go, mm -hmm. and then that's it. All the rest of the bullets, it's like I'm just drawing yeah. around them. I've got no hope of getting it done. I think it's all about the, the slowness we got to do it, right? Pop one shot at a yeah. time. Pop, wait a bit, pop. Kind of but you just start to, if control. they start pushing you, yeah, it's, it's so just, odd to have that kind of patience. You're like, ah, fire all the bullets. More bullets is more hits. I feel like when it comes to Valorant, right, sometimes you just have to commit to fights, and you, you know you're not getting out of it, right? Yeah. You take the duel. To back away, unless you're using the ability to do it, it becomes a real struggle. That's when we, we, we see the difference come in. Now, weapon round in play. Cena needs to be careful. Oh, he spots out the gun. Oh, that's so unlucky. He saw the gun first, then the drone came out. He tried to put an end to that. This is going to allow him to push into the site, though. FPX have regained some control. Aslan's fallen. Oh, no. Meadows even pistol whip CNED. BBL, that could have been their round. Just all it would have taken is Cena to get that opening kill and push them back. Yeah, and a fantastic paranoia from Angel to just completely blind him up and allow Meadow to finish him off when he was 40 HP at that point. So it was fairly easy to do with the Ghost. As FBX just hold down and make sure nobody gets in here for a retake. No opportunities are given away. And a big difference from FBX just immediately that we're seeing is that they're not playing this super loose post plant in a 5v3 looking mm -hmm. to try and take every single fight. That was the problem that they had when it came into yesterday in their matchup versus Vodafone Giants. The first game, they just didn't treat them with respect. They gave all the opportunities we saw, as I was saying in the video, like one player pushing forward when his two teammates were just a little bit behind. If you wait a few seconds, you at least have a 3v1 fight if they rotate in. Well, that's not going to work out there, Lego. The Omen versus Omen duel. Hero, you just need to... Oh, ho, ho! that's unlucky. That's unfortunate. The Guardian from Shao delivers the headshot. Angel pushed him back. So they do manage to save two weapons. It's not so bad. Is it just one weapon? Only one? Oh, yeah, only one survived. Eee, that's not so ideal for BBL. Yeah. FPX, they, they went for it. They didn't overcommit, right? They just sent two players, but Shao's timing was perfect because Kiro had a little poke at Angel there and just went, I'm going to try and run away. And, ah, no, there's too much going on around me. And it's, it is huge that they found all those exits because had they not have taken down both weapons, we could have seen like a bulldog buy around those rifles and it would still be a pretty decent chance. But if you're talking about four bulldogs, no. I'm just going to wait for the next to get a full buy out. He still took so much damage there, CNED. He's just not catching a break this game, Mitch. No, the early round's definitely not going his way. Even the smoke and the dash can't protect him. No. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, put the smoke down. Quickly dash out, and they just tag him up, put him down so low. All the shields taken away as well. Oh, so the, the smoke has to go down there to allow that spike to be retrieved. I I'm guessing Shao's going to go spawn to rotate all the way around nice and safely. And it also means he can run rather than having to shift walk across mid and not give away the steps of the player being close lamp or even not the TP. As they push through, now they've got to go because they're using the boom bot. That's going to drag rotations from the A site. They know the speed has to go 0 to 100. That's a great blind. Meadow can't see a thing. Lego's able to isolate the fight. Gets away with the oh. frenzy, but caught on the reload as they were already out hookah. That should be an easy round now. Only two players left for BBL. Oh, you just got to feel sorry for BBL at this point, right? They think that there's a lot of pressure coming from B long. They're like, cool. Looks to their side. Just the timing works out again for FPX. The calls come through. Good teamwork being shown by these guys. Do you know what? My biggest worry for FPX as a team when they first got announced was that, okay, your language barrier, yes, but it was going to be the general communication. I know they can all speak English, but it's still just a second language when you both were on teams that spoke, one was just Russian speaking, mm -hmm. one was just Swedish. So now I'm feeling like I'm not actually as worried as I, as I, I, I first thought I was going to be. Area. Well, that's the thing. It's not impossible to play under those conditions. It's just difficult. No, it's just, it's just to the level, right? I, I thought that, yes, individual skills and aim was going to be fine, but then I also thought some of that communication could make the synergy, could make these little executes uh -huh. and stuff at times a bit more difficult, but we're really not seeing that. And I was very impressed with that first game they had against G2. And once again, we're seeing little moments like this that you just have to appreciate. I mean, uh, at the end of the day, they're switching to a second language that they're all comfortable with. It's not like the, the old Tai Lu situation, but right? It, it doesn't matter. It's not about that. This of is what course, you're not understanding, no. right? This mm. is not what I'm saying. I can understand they all speak English, but trying to react to it. Think about this. You yeah. speak a bit of French. I don't speak any other language because I'm just a lazy idiot. Who's British? But yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you, you speak, right, French, but you still have to think about that before Of course, you talk. yeah. I'm going to so translate still, in my head. That delay mm -hmm. is very important in a game oh, like 100%. this in FPS, and that's what's impressing me, that this delay doesn't seem to really be affecting them. Yeah. It's not easy. Some people just can't do it. Yeah, obviously these guys are very capable, but uh, no, I 100% get what you're saying. It's always the issue whenever you've got some form of translation in your head to do. It depends how comfortable, though. If you, 
some people have a second language to the extent that they they don't even have to translate it in their head anymore. Yeah. They can think in both yeah. languages, which is insane to me. I, I can like semi do it in super Irish. Super smart but, for that. Yeah. It, it also depends if you, um, how actively you've got to use it. I think it's people that have like, for example, if you're family speaks Spanish, but you, your school or something is English, you have to do it every day from the time you're a kid. You speak Spanish at home, English in school, and then they just kind of... Yeah, I can't imagine any of these guys good? did it that much. Maybe no. the Swedes, because Scandinavia is generally good for language, and oh no, the ult doesn't actually work out this time. Cnet managed to get a kill, that's good, but he's taking a lot of damage once again. He desperately needs to be healed up. Russell's fallen, Meadow, he manages to sneak round. Aslan never expected anyone to be he's within the bathroom, but is he also going to check up high? He's got another case to go down, he's making sure he's covered up. Spike is planted, the paranoia's gone out though. They're going to escape for now. Cnet still on 13 health, can't be healed. That's less than ideal. They're just getting picked apart. This looked like this could have been a round for BBL. They just about tried to move out the way. Shadow continues to push forward. He's looking to do more damage. And this again is an FPX round. It will take something incredible from Lego. He's going to get one. He decides to back away. Is he? Ooh, Lego, you're cheeky, man. Yeah, I don't know why he's sticking around here. Yeah, I, thought, save that off. I thought he was going to leg it out of there. <laughs> Lego, leg it right now. <laughs> Yeah, he's saying Lego towards the B site, as we are going to see a fifth up for Fun Plus Phoenix and a convincing start for them. I mean, a couple of these rounds are getting semi scrappy, but it seems like there's always someone on FBX who's able to make that big play. I, I feel like in this round it was definitely Meadow being able to get up behind and maintain or grab that control yeah. completely away from BBL. Also, the fact that they took down Russ when CNED was, what, 13 HP, I think? So, it, it, like, Russ really needed to stay alive to get that heal. I know we say Sage isn't, like, 100% about heals, but when you're in a retake situation with a player that has that is one hit to anything, you have to just wait for that, get the heal up, and then go in for it. Uh -huh. and, and maybe you don't have the time at that point, but I feel like it almost forces you into a save scenario unless you can find a kill immediately. Now, Mitch, this is looking real scary for the BBL team. Get out of my way! And, like, I'm, I'm starting to feel sorry because they, they probably don't have a way at all now to qualify. But I will say one thing. A shout-out to all the Turkish community watching and our, our Turkish streamer friend also putting it out there because they really do love this team. They want to see them do well. And I think, again, we just got to come to this point with... Unless they can at least get a tie here, it's GG right now for these guys. And this is more about the experience of playing the top level teams, right? Yeah, and I believe there's uh, there's prize money for fifth, but not yeah. for sixth. So there is still so something to, to fight for. So they try and get Giants out the way somehow. If that's how it ends. Giants yeah. obviously could surprise us there. I'm talking like it's over. I'm just, I'm just predicting that it could go this way. Because right now, Mitch, <laughs> it's looking like six and zero. And we've not seen many rounds that could have gone BBL's way. Like even that round just then looked like the previous one, right? That was the best chance they had in a while. Cena got the opener, they were trying to push for it, then he got low on health, and then it just all quickly fell apart. Oh. The shots through the smoke. Surely he's not actually thinking about going yeah. for this. That would be one hell of a wild play coming out from Aslan to just blast back his way into a site full of five <laughs> players. I respect the confidence. I just don't have hope in it working out. Oh, is Shadow going to go? Here we go, after the off shot. Beautiful stuff. Oh, he's even going to catch a second. It looked like he saw him running, but he didn't fire off in time. The voice the slow as well. That's a problem, right? When you try for a slowdown at that big area, he can just walk all the way around it. Could have delayed it a second and gotten it into the alley, or yeah. even just turned left, bounce off the wall. It would have uh, blocked off the alley. Luckily, they don't make it anywhere near them anyways. They're being a little bit cautious. We're going to call your next series. Quick tips from Mitch. <laughs> I like it. There we go. I wouldn't yeah. say, yeah, we can't say pro tips. No, we can't steal that. That's Rush's. Rush is only allowed that. I'm trying to think of something that would have more like, alliteration. Hey, future pros. You need to, you need to have your own version <laughs> of that. Hey, future pros. <laughs> I do love that. Whenever I'm on Nuke and someone's like, oh, dude, I don't know the outside smoke. I'm like, hey, I got you. Like I got this. you, future pro. Here we go. Rush's voice is so perfect for that as well. <laughs> Revealing area. Oh. The quick tip I'd give BBL is get around the board. It's a good start. Good foothold on, on the game if you can do it. But well, it, this is your top tier analysis then, mate. <laughs> yep, get around on the board. They pay me the generally big money for good the, reason. Generally, that's what they want to do every single time, right? You would hope so. You would hope so. I've seen some games. But with the five versus four that's in play at the moment, moment this is the best chance BBL have had so far. They haven't lost map control. They have not a whole lot of information Nothing really when it comes to where FBX currently are. Minute on the clock. 
plenty of time for things to go south. FBX making a lot of noise towards the top of long. That's being hurt. Rotations are being called for. And BBL are reinforcing this B side in just a second. Looks like they might be a little bit late to the party. A straight push out of Zipan. That's so aggressive and his teammates weren't there to trade. Eventually Shadow gets it, but CNED's rotated from the A side to pick up one. Shadow continues to frag and opens up elbow completely. This could be FPX pulling back into the round, but with Shadow left alone on just a couple points of health, there was no way he was getting out of that one. Quick tips with Mitch. Get around. It works. Exactly. Now, I'd advise them. It. I would advise them to get a second. Wow. See if they, if they follow my tips. My mind is blown. <laughs> now, just to remind us, all our viewers out there as well, if you're watching on the Play Valorant channel, we told you to do the giveaway. That only works on the Allied Esports channel. So make sure you're in the Allied Esports chat at least. Type exclamation mark giveaway. And that's how you can win those amazing HyperX goodies. Yeah. I don't want to confuse people. I just realized what channel we're on. And I'm thinking, oh, wait. I just... <laughs> Everybody's just spamming everyone's giveaway. Spamming where is it? Like, Why is he lying? I'm like, no, no, I'm sorry. Just people are scrolling meant. through like <laughs> lines of text. Like, it must be here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you know how it gets the spammy chat as well. Oh, yeah. So yeah, make sure you're in the right place, guys. We do appreciate you tuning in and coming to kick it with us through this opening game. And BBL finally getting around on the board is huge, but it's all about chaining them together because you can get one, then you get slapped back down, and you're just suddenly in a really rough spot when it comes to those creds as well. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, come on, Cena. This is where he has to shine, Mitch. There's a flash going to go through. CNED could be in trouble. He's got the dash at least still to get out of there. Mm -hmm. There's the flash. Oh. He tries to turn away and doesn't dash. That was a late turn as well. He just stood there and took it to the face. Aslan though and Russ, they're trying to make it happen. Russ is backed away. Oh no. Just when they get these positions where you feel like they can get it done, maybe Lego can turn it around here. He got himself at least one. Spike still not going to be planted. Teleport has been used. They've boosted their way over to this B site. They've quickly gone on the rotation, and I respect it. It's a two versus two, and you've really become a nuisance. Kiro's position has now been spotted how close he was. This is perfected, perfected aggression coming out of FPX already. And the drone... It was such a huge play that we just saw come through from Lego. He went through the TP, teleported back, then went through the TP again, but they spotted Kiro and Sova. Literally, if they didn't have a Sova right now, mm -hmm. they would be screwed. That would be an easy yep. flank behind. But instead, Lego is left in a 1v2, having to push out. He's been spotted as well. His barrel was spotted coming around that smoke. He's waiting for the sight feet and just can't get out of there. There's nah. nothing he could do. FBX just bouncing right back after that other round. That's a shame for BBL. I, I love that play so much by Lego. It's just such a shame that so they spotted Kiro. What did he actually do to go out? He literally so ran you, the whole way. No, so you can run at the teleporter, yeah. right? You activate your, your own TP, your Omen TP. Uh -huh. You jump activate it as you hit the TP. And go back. So you'll go through it, make the noise, what? and then the teleport completes. What? <laughs> yeah, was, That's so smart. Yeah, so I, I've um, I've I've never seen it used completely like that, like in a two versus yep. two to to then go back to fake it again. Oh, yeah. I've seen it used by defenders so that when they're pushing up towards Hookah, they think, oh, there's a guy in the TP. You, you got to worry about him. Yeah. But that that was 200 IQ. Just that Kiro oh. got spotted. It ruined it. Yeah, if Kiro had not been hit by the recon, you'd be fine. Yeah. Oh, see Ned though. That's what you want to see. And he does dash out the way this time, Mitch. You can be happy. <laughs> They've got the advantage, but can they hold on to it? That was the odd thing in the previous round as well, right? CNED looks at the flash, waits, yeah, then turns, but then still doesn't what was dash. His turn? He knows his turn he's in the reactions open. reactions were awful. It's like you're the, you're the operator. Your reaction yeah. is supposed to be on point, bro. <laughs> but he also knew he was in the open at that point. Surely when you get hit by the flash, you go, I'll dash out. But I guess yeah. a, little bit of, a little bit of panic set in for him. He wasn't quite maybe tuned in. Maybe he's one of those operators just like, even when I'm flash, I'm going to take the shot. You yeah. Know? But in a game like this where you're being pushed by all of them, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a fan. Yeah. Of them. Uh, like he that. probably, I, I think in his head, they were going to flash it and peek like immediately so he could get a shot off then get flashed then dash yeah, yeah. and the fact that no one peaked just kind of threw him off and he's like but I want to I want to kill but I uh. it's unfortunate but at 7 to 1 FBX are in a good spot obviously round wise no matter how this finishes they've already managed to delete the omen angels obviously the entry fragger for this team now not going to be able to go in first Shao not checking it that's a really rookie mistake from Shao come on mate you know better than that Lego's going to take full advantage of it now down two players. Meno trying to push his way in. Ross out aims him in this one. Here we go. BBL could be looking at their second. The clock is running right down here. Ross is just picking him apart one by one. Zipan is able to get the refrag in, but he's now heard the teleporter. He's well aware of what's going on. There's just no time to fight it. He's going to try and get the kill, but Lego's the one to finish it off. 
A second round for BBL, and it's not too late. They can still get in here and do some of this damage. If they get five rounds on the board, fighting back in, winning the pistol in the next is doable. The issue for them is, as we said before, that game versus NIP, it didn't look good at all. Oh, no. Three rounds on their defense. Yeah. Now, granted, we didn't get to see their attack. We literally saw the pistols not go their yeah. way and a full buy round, and that was it. So when it comes to their defense, we know it's weak. But I want to see them get up there. I want to see five rounds on the board. And with the way they've been playing in the last three, four rounds, it is possible. Enemy mark. Oh, nicely done by Shadow to start off with at least, but... Angel's gone down again in the opening. See, Ned, this is more like what we expected from him, Mitch. He's actually hitting these shots. He's actually putting himself in a position when he can be a nuisance to FPX, and they're finally being met with some resistance now. They're not just able to walk into the sites and have their way in just, like, so easy every time. Another kill. This is fair to see, Ned. This is what we've been waiting for. The turret himself, Mr. Aslan, getting it done. And they keep five alive for a flawless round. The one they desperately needed. There's potential here right now for that 7-5. There absolutely is. As we said, you know, some of the things that were going wrong for them, I mean, even down to the game plan and that two versus two again, I mm. feel like they should have had that round. Like, I want, I almost want to just give it to them because of the attempt. <laughs> it's so sad. But the reality is, for BBL in this matchup, it's not one that coming into the tournament we would expect that, oh, maybe we'd expect them to have a shot at. It's like me looking down at you, Mitch, oh, seeing the little God person right below me. It's like, oh, little thing. Thanks, thanks, thanks. <laughs> Anyone on the Play Valorant channel, uh, Banks is a, a mean dude. He bullies me every day. It helped me. And help. And some stilettos. <laughs> and some stilettos. I'd love to see you in stilettos. Excuse me? Those legs would look really nice. <laughs> and so's that shot from C Ned. He's back on it again. He's action packed with the operator in hand. This is much better. This is what we asked to see from C Ned. It just wasn't working when he was towards A. Though, Angel has found Aslam. Ross is going to try and maneuver his way around lamps. They're going to check it, but the timing might work out. He's put himself in a good spot, and Angel, he's going to go straight down. The hills come in. Ross needs to be careful. Shao starting to push it, but that's another headshot delivered. The spike is down, Ooh. and Ross, that's what you want to see. That's what BBL needed, and they continue to get some rounds on the board. They are fighting back with full force. That was absolutely beautiful from Russ, and we mentioned his KD earlier on. I feel like there's a couple different approaches you can take with Sage. He's a mm -hmm. pretty deep character or agent, and generally, you're going to see Russ playing that very slow, very passive. I've seen, I think, maybe like two or three rounds where he overextended. Other than that, it seems very tight, and that's across all the games they've been playing. What I love just with that, Mitch, is that it was looking like it would be terrible for Russ because he lost so much in that duel against Angel. Mm -hmm. And then he healed himself up. Get I think the hunted way. health was still going to be hard, right, if they had shields and stuff. But just then his razor-sharp aim came online. Seen that again. No going to get rid of the drone. Oh, oh, no. Woo -hoo -hoo. You're dancing. You're jumping. You're running around. CNED still able to get kills as well. Shao, that ult was not paying off, buddy. Oh, the movement from CNED has just been so damn good for him to use the updrafts to dodge them, drop down, didn't even use his dash, so he had it to escape in that later fight. No panic whatsoever. This is much better than what we've seen from him in the past. Now got his ultimate online, but no updraft. And that can be so valuable whenever you're yeah. in an ult. It doesn't matter, though. Russ is absolutely shredding them, and CNED comes out for the final one tap. Seven to five. They've actually done it. Come right back into the game. BBL were looking flat. They were looking down and out, but here they are. The possibilities for them to win this map are still in play. And look at that scoreboard, right? They got that one round, then they lost straight after, and we were thinking, oh, this yeah. is not so good. Then four in a row. BBL representing Turkey. They're rearing that flag on their back, and they're ready to finally try and get a game in here. They need a win. They need a big amount of points. Especially if they want to even just challenge, right, to not be in last place against the likes of Giants, for example. Yeah. And FPX, right, they can have these games where they have these slow starts. Mm -hmm. Yes, they got off to a strong start in this actual map, but we've seen it fall away from them before. The issue um, between BBL and Vodafone Giants mm. is that in order for BBL to even get fifth, which means prize money, they need to beat 
Vodafone Giants in their final game, but okay. they also need to be on equal footing with them. And this draw or this win in a series would be what does that for them, yep. definitely. Then they would have a real shot if they if they beat Vodafone Giants. Obviously, there's still a game for the Giants left before that as well. We are getting very much ahead of ourselves. I did it first, and I'm upset. I'm like, uh, yeah. But brain? if ba basically, if BBL do want a shot, if they lose this, yep. they're pretty much guaranteed the bottom spot. Let's see if they can get it done. They've got to win it. They've got to do it. Well, we're having a pause right now because it's a technical for BBL. I thought it would have been a bit weird for them to have a tactical at this point. Yeah. I'm glad this tech issue, though, happened as they switched because they were just on a good run. Mm -hmm. Things were looking a lot better. Imagine they had a technical midway through of a yeah, round. You don't want like, that. Ah, crush even, it. Even if it was at the end of a round, it didn't affect the gameplay. I still wouldn't like it just because they had that momentum. They were starting yeah. to really get rolling, and you don't want to just this is the have to take the back time. seat then. I'm all for... Well, I don't want technical issues to happen, obviously, but, you know, yeah. like, if it's going to happen at any point, we'll take it at this point. I we're, think that, that probably it. means one of the guys has been playing with some sort of a connectivity issue until half time, and then just went, oh. We don't know if it's at least in you can't say round. it's connectivity. Well, if it's technical, I would imagine. It's, it's usually something to do with your internet or your PC. Could just be, like, his mouse, you know? There's many things that can go wrong. There are. <laughs> in my experience, <laughs> it, it's, always, it's always something to do with ping or... Um, that like ninety percent of the time. Done. I've done. I've done plenty of Asian tournaments where that's just problem after problem with the rooting. The rooting. In Europe, we generally have good internet. Yeah, I think it's just cross region. It's it's always uh, harmful. But here we are. We've started out the pistol round. We're ready to roll. BBL on the attacking side. Two behind. The chances for them to come back in, as we said, are definitely now in play. The reality. When we look over towards that A site, we need rotates. FPX have just seen smokes come down, and they're sitting in position. They're ready to fast Ooh. push through that TP, potentially, but that means that Xiao has to have an insane hold here by himself. He's now walled off and looking to come around lamps. Pushing up would just be way too risky. Has he got a shorty, actually? The retake. They're going for it. A five-man retake needed. Positions are going to be key here. Lego's in a really nice spot, but he needs to make sure he's got his back covered. As that sage wall begins to fade, it could be a bit of a problem for him. No Going to avoid the flash at least. Looks to put the shadow wall forward. Oh, and that's what I was worried about. That kind of action happening. It is a shorty in play on the first round, and that is a retake and a half. What a pistol round. That was fantastic. Uh, a little bit of work done as well with the shorty by Xiao jumping on out. I guess it's nice the little bit of versatility it gives you to just not have to worry really about jumping mm. or moving. You just swing out and essentially entry for your teammates who can then hopefully trade you out. Shorty entry. You love to see it. <laughs> not if you're on the receiving end of it, though. No. Well, it depends how far away you are. If a shorty entry all the way down <laughs> you like, know, A long, you're nice like, try. hey, man, how you doing? <laughs> on the defensive side, though, it's actually really smart to see that. I'm down. Yeah, oh, yeah. On the offensive side, not so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you have to rush and you're like, oh, God. Like, unless you're literally up in their grill, that's not yeah. working. It's like how many times in CS have you seen the uh, sawed-off shotgun being bought on, on the T side? It just doesn't happen because I've seen misclicks, but I've never seen someone mean to do it. Eight to five. Fun plus uh, winning both pistol rounds. Really upsetting BBL by doing mm. that. You know, those early rounds when you're the underdog are where you can make up a lot of the ground between you. And Zipan's also grabbed the opening duel of this round. Uh, in reality, you don't expect a whole lot from BBL. Ooh. They're outranged, and you can clearly see that with the ADS Bulldog. He's just tapping so easy, good old Zipan. They didn't stand oh. oh, what shadow! <laughs> All right, cheeky, cheeky. He gets a few shots fired towards him, and he'll just continue to spray on through. This is the big round, though, for BBL, right? This is where we're looking to see them get back to that form we did on the past few rounds. It's just how good are we going to see their attacking side be? That's the real question for us. I need to see CNED be like the entry fragging god. Pretty much when it comes down to those full buys, we'll hope that's what comes through. For now, though, it's just been domination on the defensive side for FPX. Pistol round and anti eco. Here's the challenge. How do you feel with, like, so for me and Valorant, right, following the traces of a lot of guns are, like, pretty easy. But how do you find it? Because I see some players, they still struggle to kind of guess where the sound cues and stuff come from. But I find it quite easy on, like, sound cues and watching where bullets, how you can follow the traces quite easily. Yeah, I, I think I've definitely found it in Chudo. I've never really had a problem yeah. with it that, I've, that I can remember. Sound feels very good in this game, and 
So does the spray with a Vandal when you're Angel. Ooh, taking down Ross, but he's lost That's his teammate. what they need, though. That's what they mm -hmm. need to do. CNET going forward. This is exactly it. This is what they should be scared of. CNET in form, entrying, and with mad confidence as well. Zipan's put himself in a good spot. He needs that backup from his teammates, though. He's got a Bulldog. He's going to throw the Boombot out. And straight away, as he does it, Aslan comes around the corner. Now, there is a refrag, but this is not going to be easy either way. Cena tucks himself into the bathrooms. Meadow's trying to go on the hunt. Oh, that Omen is just dancing away. The paranoia goes out. They don't want to play into it. Shadows. Oh, he's trying to tag him up through the box. Still can't get the kill. And CNED, he is just delivering in this round. This is a huge problem for FPX. Shadow tries his best, but it's not going to work out. And now we're at 9 6. That's ridiculous from CNED. I don't know how he gets away with so much fight after fight going his way. The opening was up against a Marshall, so I wasn't terribly worried. I was a little bit confused by Shadow's position with a Marshall, I will say. <laughs> it was just out in the open playing a clay. Look on the map there. You'll see yeah. him start to... I'm pretty sure he moves over. Like he's, he's just wide open. At no cover spot, to go yeah. to. And he's even peeking then aggressively in towards it late. It just Literally makes no sense. running into it. That's <laughs> the problem. And you know what? The reason I was like hyped when Cena gets a kill like that, you look mm -hmm. at him. He seems to be a man. And obviously we don't know him. This is just from how I'm viewing it. He needs that confidence. So when yeah. he gets a kill like that, what do he do instantly? Pushed forward, played off his smokes, went in for an extra kill, and that's when he's scary. What we've seen many times is when he has a bad game, when he's getting bullied a bit, he just disappears. You just, he, he doesn't come back into the game. You just watch him fade away. Yeah. So yep. a CNED and fire is a CNED that BBL certainly love. And so does all the Turkish community, no doubt. Well, that's cool. That looks just like a... That, like that could just be like a, a panoramic movie, you know? Yeah. A Bach. <laughs> Back in the golden years when he had his, his locks. Oh, please, Buck. Grow your beard. Oh, I want to see the Breach cosplay. I, sh I really do. FBX are looking for double digits in this round. Nice. Great camera. Able to find a lot of damage. Meadow had all, has already seen CNED go into the site and gives the communication over, but Shadow not able to do anything about it. Now they've got CNED really harassing Meadow, so he's to fall back on 33 health as well, but he knows the spike is down. Full rotates are on their way. It's a very awkward position. They have to deal with Meadow before they can really get to the site. Yeah. But considering his HP, he needs that backup from Angel. <gasps> oh, that's so unlucky. Not looking the right way. It's all falling apart now. Lego's doing his best to get his skates on. But he's so low on health. No chance of being healed up. The time's not on his side either. Shao's already on the site. They will be able to get the spike down at least. But... Shao still playing it smart, using the drone, obviously unaware of exactly how much damage has been done to him. Trying to follow him round, but they're playing a game of cat and mouse, and for now the Omen's going to win that one. Oh, now he sees him, just in the nick of time, and Meadow's there to deliver the kill. No problem at all, the 10th round on the board for Fun Plus Phoenix. Mitch, I'll be honest, right, BBL are showing us better, it's looking good, mm -hmm. but have they got enough rounds in it to claw back in if they can't start to get that chaining of the rounds together, if they can't get a, a three-round streak or something like that? This is the problem. In general, when I look at how this half has gone when it comes to buy rounds and these mixed buys, it's not a massive problem in that there are good results for BBL. They're capable. They're getting openings. The issue that I have is they lost both pistols. Mm. They've automatically gone down 4-0, to zero, which means you do have to chain those rounds yeah. together because you've got to come back into it from that massively negative position. And right now, they're not dominant enough over FPX for that to really uh -huh. seem plausible. Not at all. They've got to show it to us here. Three weapons have been purchased up. I mean, it's a pretty decent oh, investment from BBL. That's so good as well. Shao getting the recon out perfectly, and it took them a while before they'd even do anything, given where the Shadow Warp was. This could be the difference maker. Yeah, Cena needs to land these. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Ah, that's not what you want. And oh, they're so unlucky. You hate to see it. The jet ult wasted and FPX just on destruction. They just made that look so easy. The moment he was spotted out, he shouldn't have committed. He should have just left it. But you know what Zipan's like? He's definitely going to poke into it. He wants those kills. And CNED now unlikely to, unless they just start to make this huge comeback to even get his ultimate back on the board. Oh, I have to wonder how, why Zipan pushed in. He knew he was up against a weak buy, just pistols, right? Uh, and yeah. he even heard the classic. There was a possibility for... I'm trying to think how many people they would have spot with that recon dart. 
doesn't have his old up. I thought maybe he's have the old up or something crazy. But no, he just mm. zip up was just doing zip up things. Just go kill. I think like okay, if they spotted three of them, that's still a little bit risky. There could be two pistols waiting for you. Uh -huh. But if that recon dart did spot all four, which I'm not sure if it did or not, then. That works out. That makes sense because you know, there's, oh, there's only one player here. Let me just push in. Let me get the kill against the classic. I'm trying to think that I've got bad memory at best of time, but I believe it definitely spotted three of them. I don't think mm. it spotted four of them. One was still behind the wall. There's a little bit of a risk. But yeah, without, yeah. basically, without that recon dart, he doesn't push that. CNED still manages to do the damage and, ca well, to take the fight on his own terms. Oh. So push up. Oh, that's a big whiff. Only good for one. This is Russ's attempt. Oh, that's really nice. They have the advantage coming from that position where the Shadow Orb is as well. Russ looking to make this work. This has come up huge. Oh, and they've planted on A. So smart, Lego. Sneaky play. TP's been in use. And he ulted, it. He ulted into it. I mm -hmm. love it. Yeah, go fake B by actually going B and then TP. <laughs> you love it. <laughs> going B, getting all the kills, controlling the site, <laughs> and then doing it. Oh, you know they're not at that uh -oh. point. Zipan. He's, he's dealt with Lego. Two more players left, though. And they have no idea, really. They've spotted one more. The big play here could be made by Kiro. He's been spotted out oh. as well. Nade going to go through to push him into the open. But in the meantime, Russ takes his opportunity. He swings out wide. Oh! Runs out of ammo. He's in the open. 15 health. Pops the heel. Just needs to buy time. In no! with a knife. Xiao, what were you doing? If he just took the classic, he could have right clicked him. He was so low. I don't think he would have had time to defuse, maybe, though. So maybe he just thought he'd go for it like <laughs> that. style but... points. Oh. That was way too close, BBL. Like, you got the round. I'm down with it, but... <laughs> They made us sweat. They definitely made us sweat. Oh, God. Look, 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 look. at this He just, ah, <laughs> my bullets. No, why am I here? What is going on? Quick oh. kill comes in. There's Shao's like, hee hee. It's got good movement, but yeah, not fast enough, mate. Unfortunately not. And the full reload came through. <sighs> that was crazy. And so here we go. 11 to 7. Opening duel goes down to CNED. He's able to get out of there as well. Now moving up towards long. They've got one hookah, one closer than Elba, actually. Boosted up on top. Zipan used a blast pack to get up here. Still has a nade in play. Here's the, He might be baited into trying to nade that. No, he just leaves it over, concedes the control, and catches them by surprise. Oh. Old pop, but he's in paranoia. He's hoping that they were to push through, but of course they know he's there. They know he's popped that. Why yeah. would they push into him? A wasted ult. And still a round that BBL could pick up here. Lego again, he's up his old tricks, wants to be sneaky. Oh, Xiao just spotted oh! him. That was huge as the teleport was going forward. Xiao with the big brain plays and Rush just walks into his death. 12th round secured and FBX look to try and close this out here and now, Mitch. That was disgusting. He's spraying down and he just TP'd right into the bullets. <laughs> that sucks. 12 rounds on the board for FBX, and they are looking to take this. They've won both pistol rounds, so realistically, they should be. As I said, that's a 4-0 boost. Look at that, man. So unlucky of all the angles he could have chosen. Xiao's feeling hella good after that mm -hmm. one. Look at all these ults ready for the last round as well. That is scary to go up against. Go with the last round, you're calling it, huh? With that many ults, <laughs> most likely. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely, I agree. The buy is through for BBL. At least they're able to afford some scrappy weapons to play around. I think I saw a rifle over towards Bath. I've seen Ed's pushing. Oh, is that a marshal even? No, whoa, it's an operator. Okay, I'm down. Could be possible then. Oh, no. Careful, Angel. So much damage could have come your way. Luckily, you stomach it for now. Oh, what? what? Russ, what are you doing? Check the corner. Uh, that was his teammate's ult at least, oh. so he wasn't spotted by it for them. But that, that oh, was ridiculous for Russ to just turn or peek with his back completely turned. TP just went through up above, oh, but yeah. doesn't matter. Shadows is the one dealing with Lego. And it's all down to scene and great dash away. He's going to go for the ult charge. That's going to grab his ult actually up. Oh, now popped immediately. The knives come into play. This could work out. Look, if anything, Jet is the one that can make this clutch happen yep. with these weapons, but no dash. Can't get out there quickly. Looks in the back. Ooh. Good headshot to Angel. Now just two more to deal with to keep the team alive. 32 seconds left on the clock. It's doable. Two updrafts as well. On the way out, looking for the first kill. Has the dash now as well, but no idea where Meadow was. A 4K, almost an ace clutch, but CNED caught in the back to close it out on the first map. It does go to FBX. Huge effort coming out there. 
from CNET at the end. He was trying all he could.